Okay, this is it. I'm trying the helmet cam for the first time. And uh, I hope it works. I attached my cell phone with Velcro tape and uh, into the helmet. It's a really cool cell phone. It has about an hour of playback. So I just hope I don't have any problems. I mean, the camera is it's just in front of my nose. I mean, I just got enough space to breathe. But anyway, I just don't want to sound like Darth Vader. But uh, a lot of heavy breathing, yeah. I have a cold or something. Well, oh, this is my bike. You can check it out. It's like a, an XJR. It's like 400cc, kind of entry-level bike. Uh, not for racing, but it's pretty fast. Yeah. And this is a muffler. I just got it about two months ago. Carbon fiber. Nice, cool noise. It's pretty cool. So let's start this thing. Okay, I have a, a bit of a cold to my, my nose. It's, it's kind of... I don't know how, how you say that, but anyway. Okay. Sniffing a lot. Okay, so... See, I always have to do this procedure like this. I always like to get the bike on the right position before getting on it. Okay. So this is my day, yeah. I'm testing the camera. I don't know if the sound is... It's a good one. But anyway. So this is like the parking space. I just finished work. You can see all the bikes. Actually, it's illegal here. I was surprised I didn't get a parking ticket. I've gotten like three parking tickets in the last three months. Yeah, nine thousand yen each. Here's the sign. You know, illegal parking. Bicycles get um, three thousand yen fine. Motorcycles nine thousand. It sucks, you know. Ah, uh, but anyway. I mean, and it has become much more strict lately. But, um, it's become a nightmare. But, you know, on Tokyo. Okay, this is the central area. This is Shinjuku. You can see the, I don't know, Keio Plaza Hotel, whatever. A lot of tall buildings around here. Yeah. And this is the area where, where I'm working now. I was fired from my previous job, and now I'm Back to teaching English, yeah. It's exciting. But anyway. I think I can make it here. A little bit, yeah. So the engine is still cold, so I'm still like, you know, using a little bit of throttle to warm it up. <clears throat> I just hope the sound is good enough. I want to close the lighters, so, you know, I don't get... Shinjuku. This is like a business area. Very popular. This is the west side. Mm. It's a little bit less crowded than the east side. I mean, this side is mainly salary men, business guys, everything like that. business area mainly not so not as crowded as the east side but it's pretty crowded and today is Saturday so you can expect only people around that are shopping or or just you know sightseeing there's not much of a business activity on uh, on Saturdays mainly shopping which is like the national hobby here in Japan. But anyway. I used to live around this area. Um, the west side is much better than the east side. I mean, it's not so, not so busy. I mean, there's, and uh, it's 
it's much more quieter and really nice. Uh, five minutes from work, that's something very unusual in Tokyo. I mean, if you want to find a cheap place, you have to, you know, like, live about an hour or so from work by train. Commuting here by car is, is a nightmare. You cannot park anywhere, and if you park, illegal parking is severely punished. You get points off your license and, and uh, you know, high fees and everything, fines. So you have to use, like, private parking, which is expensive. Um, it's about 100 yen for 10 minutes. That's about a dollar, 10 minutes. So if you're going to go shopping, it's still cold. Know, but this is why, you know, this bike takes a while to warm up, but once, once it's warm, the engine is warm, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty good, you know. So it takes a while, about, you know, 10 minutes or something to, to warm up into, you know, top condition, optimal condition. And, uh, yeah, it takes about, you know, this guy's like, uh, looking at me in a weird way. This guy is talking to himself. Uh, it's kind of weird. Well, anyway. Uh, that's why I used to live around this area, just behind that big building. It's a university and, and a company building. And it was pretty nice. Uh, it was like a guest house. A lot of foreigners and Japanese people. But it was really confident and everything, but I got kicked, kicked out, you know. I was I was living with like seven people. I had my own room. It was like a small party. So, like, and um, you know, new management came in. A young girl. She wanted everything clean and everything. I, I I was. No, my my room was clean. It was a little bit messy, but it doesn't matter, you know. Nobody. Uh, enter my room or anything, but the common area, which was which was the the kitchen, uh, it was pretty dirty. I mean, because I hate washing dishes, and I didn't wash the dishes, and everybody got pissed off. Not, not everybody, but a couple of British guys that came in. I had an accident here. Yeah, I got killed in this intersection, but not in a motorcycle. It wasn't a car. But anyway, two British guys came into the guest house. And one British guy, you know, the guy actually looked like a hobbit. I mean, the guy is like exactly the same proportions of a hobbit, you know, short, you know, like funny face and everything. I thought he was a hobbit too. And, you know, the same, you know, kind of weird Irish mixed with British 